Yeah, all right, all you dingle poofers out there. You have returned to Fell Seal, Arbiter's Merc. We, uh, we saved uh, Anadine from turning into a demon. Oh, she wasn't going to do that, by the way. We also saved Kyrie from being attacked by a bounty hunter. That was all good stuff. Uh, now we have two new additions. Sorry, not two new additions, because, um, of course, Anadine's back, but she's kind of new, because she's now a demon knight. So let's really quickly change that subclass of Hearn. I did one fight where I had her be demon knight mercenary. Let's have her just be demon knight knight. Which is a bit redundant, but there you go. She's got so many good moves here in the knight class, so might as well, y'all. Yeah? In addition, the not necromancer, the anatomist, Yates, joined the crew, and I've, he's also participated in a fight, I can say. He's pretty cool. As you can see, I grinded these guys all to level 14, Kyrie, Anandine, and Yates. I tried to do the fight here at the Resting Giants with all my lowest level characters, but it was just too much, so instead I did half and half, my lowest levels and my highest levels. All three of my lowest level characters... Well, I think Lana didn't even get a level, unfortunately. The rest of them did level up once, but boy, they are lagging behind in levels. I don't know what to do. I, I think I should just, like, sit down and grind a bunch of fights with these uh, areas we've been to already. I did that once, but I think I need to do that, like couple more times if I want to keep my whole party leveled up or all nice. Now now it is really starting to be a split between the capabilities of the crew. Nature of the beast, I suppose, but so it goes. I'm happy to say that Yates and Anadine are pretty good with their new setup. Can I... what could... What could I have Yates do as his... That's right, Yates is actually... That's right, Yates actually has the gambler thing unlocked. Here's the thing, I don't like random classes, so I'm not 100% sure about this gambler class. That's why I haven't hired a new person with all the moolah I have. Oh, by the way, I've, I've stocked everybody with like a bunch of new gear from, from Sommier's shop. Some people are missing, like, shields, I think, but everyone else has, like, the highest tier of armor and weapons I can get to them. And Ananine's equipped with a scythe now, because the Demon Knights can use those, and I thought, eh, why the heck not? So, yeah, but I, I did fight a couple of gamblers in, um, in an encounter just now, the encounter I did off-screen, and they were pretty annoying in that fight, so I guess for Hexies, I'll try to see how Yates does as a anatomist gambler. Why the heck not? I'm kind of missing out on his amazing heals if I had him be a mender, but let's give this a shake for once, because he's a legendary healer now, which means he's insanely good at healing. Thankfully, you already get heal one and eventually two from the anatomy class. They're like repeated there, so like he can still chuck around heals. He's gonna get uses from that skill. That's about all the important stuff I got to report. Let's just do some crafting and then head on. Ooh, Impala boots. Stylish, but not as fast or powerful as you'd think. They have an even greater jump than toad boots. They had 40 or movement. Ah, I bet with that we could actually go and get that one chest in the uh, forest. You know, I stick that on one of my, like, best jumpy characters and then have them go. In fact, let's see, uh, seven, six, four, four, seven. Kyrie, wow, when did you get... Oh, she does have toad boots. I, I really thought I gave those to Reiner. Oh, they both have toad boots, okay. All right then. Well, I don't know, let's give the Impala boots then to Kyrie. Now she's got a ridiculous nine on her. On her jump there. And who should I give this? I don't know, Lily, just so she can move around. I, I, I think Lily needs a little bit of mobility, I feel like. So you can have the toad boots to hand me down. There you go. No, I couldn't have made a badge. Okay, I was like, for a second, I was like, was there a badge as an option here a second ago? But never mind. Nope. 
Okie dokie. I think we're good to go now. So yeah, now um, no crazy like plot threads at the moment. We've got the general meta plot of what mysterious thing is going on in this world. You know, who is the who was the backer of Alphonse? Who was trying to like see that Alphonse wins? You know, is there corruption in the council? Probably. You know, all things considered. But for now, all we need to worry about is getting to the jungle temple to fulfill the next leg of our pilgrimage, since Kyrie is indeed a marked now. We are heading for the, the, the village. I was about to say village, probably a city of Thespiros. First, we need to go to the Azure Fields. With three treasures to get, holy moly! This vast savanna of sapphire blue stretches as far as the eye can see. Wild beasts hide amid the tall grass. Now, I'll maybe just chalk it up to, you know, world map not able to scale it, but uh, that doesn't look particularly sapphire blue, that field there. Hopefully the actual level will be, that sounds really exciting. Like, visually nice, let's see. Ooh, that is visually nice, I dig it, what the... What, what, what are these creatures we are facing here? There appears to be a Kawa. Is he friend or foe? But then there's like these... I don't know. Jelly scents over there? Those weird blob Medusa things? You've found an elusive bandit Kawa. They make a living supplying other bandits and running various shady deals, so it's best to take them down. You will occasionally run into them during patrols. Oh. Oh, I wonder if these are the, like... You don't see these often in tactical RPGs, I don't think. They're more like in traditional JRPGs. It's the enemy that's, like, very hard to hit and they like to run away. But if you can't manage to beat them, you get all sorts of nice... Um, nice... Um, uh, nice spoils, shall we say, treasures. We'll see. Yeah, yeah, there you go. If you manage to defeat them, they will drop precious components, but they will try to flee the battlefield within a few turns, so you'd best hurry. There you go. I get that. Oh, gosh. There's a lot of enemies here. What what, 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 are, what are these? A, do a date pectite and a blueberry pectite. I see. Here's a thingy. Was this the thing you could activate back in um, the temple gates that I never did? I don't know. So what do you fellas do? Um, uh -huh, hold on, hold on, hold on. There's some interesting... When the character is dealt elemental damage, they gain a buff that increases their own damage output by 0.35 times with that element. Ew. All attacks targeting this character are considered to be from the front. Ah, oh, okay. So it goes. Same with you. Yeah, okay. Same with you. Alright, no poisons on this one. This one's fine. Yeah, we've fought these lizards before, these third of us. Grumpy the Grunt! Oh, that's cute. Their special move is Zol Beam! This one's our water and... Earth. Okay. Here's the sneaky bandit Kawa. Yikes. Like, quite the selection of moves. Okay. And don't think I haven't noticed there is, um... At least a couple of uh, Komainus and Vangals hiding in these bushes. Is there one down here? I could swear there's like three heads on that. I don't think that one, this Vangal is getting three, like, like two turns so quickly. I don't think so. Where is it? I can't spot. Character can get loot from the treasure on this tile. Oh, that's kind of clever. It's all hidden in there, the treasure. There's three of them somewhere here. Oh, what a... What a nasty little treasure hunt to find them in these damn bushes. <laughs> and one there as well. Well, that one's the easiest to get to, I guess. It's right there. Although, I don't know how hard it is to get through this tall grass. Well, well enough. Well, I've really taken too long thinking about this. Oh, cool. We don't have to have... We don't have to have Kyrie be the boss man here. Uh... Since this doesn't seem to be such a high-stakes fight, what are the levels here? They are 11, 13, 12, 12, what was it 12? Oh, 13, sorry. 12 and 12, okay. Maybe we can get away with, again, just having half and half. So... We put the toughest three characters, which would be... 
Kyrie, yeah, Kyrie, right there. And Anadine, there she is with that new scythe. And Yates. Now, who are our lowest level characters? Well, these guys are injured, so I don't want to put them in the fight. But after them, who are our lowest? Reiner, Lily, and either Rude or Virgil. Virgil, okay, Reiner, L Lily, Virgil. Let's see how we do. I, I want to kind of, you know, everybody, I want to get a little bit of levels, but on the other hand, I want to keep a strong core party so we don't get ganked by enemies, so... Reiner's a wizard right now, by the way. Oh yeah, and Virgil's an alchemistic, because he maxed out his wizard. And Lana's a plague doctor. She maxed out her mender. Isn't that nice? But, uh, yeah. For now, uh, Reiner is a wizard, because I want to get that wizard scoundrel class next. Uh, we got the gambler, so, no. Who was it supposed to be? It was supposed to be Virgil. Right, okay. Battle start. Yeah, this one seems to be mainly a random encounter that we're just having here as a... As an encounter, you know, just like a mandatory encounter because these... Uh, there's no cutscenes, no nothing fancy here. Huh, do I try to get that one chest? Where the hell... Oh, right, I can hold this down and check for them. Oh, I can also hunt for that elusive third. There it is, right there, hiding. Yeah, ha, ha. Sneaky git. Okay, yeah, so can I maybe make a beeline for that? I don't know. Let's see. Ooh, it's this sneaky fella that's running around. So this one's debuffs on a target, okay? There's a small chance of backfiring. See, that's why I'm kind of like, mm, I don't know about these special moves. Well, that's just... Why did I put him in the way front, by the way? Why did I not put Lily there? I just realized, like, <laughs> this wasn't the smartest move. He's, he's, he's a bit squishy, although he does hit surprisingly hard. With his cane stick. You are weak against Dark, so Dark Bolt it is. Yeah, eat it. Just full aggro with our shield wall here. Ah. Let's put defense up as well. Very good. Now let's see. Now come the Jelly Scents. The old Pectites, I suppose. Oof. Bringing the pain already. Gonna have to see if I can get any of these chests. I'm kind of I'm kind of just full aggroing here down the middle. Maybe not the smartest move. This this area is very nice visually, but uh, not a lot going on in terms of uh, like terrain, which is nice. We've had a lot of vertical terrain recently, so I think I can handle this. Ooh, hold on. Let's let's buff some of our Crew up. Look, Reiner with his backstabs, he can do so much damage. It's it's kind of nuts. Now this one comes in from our flank. Okay. Could be chucking out some uh, buffs here, but uh, let's get to work on our this sneaky Vangal coming from our flank, so that they don't get the drop on us. Komainus were the ones that had the heal. We probably want to do something about this thing. Before anything else. Oof. Oh no! The range on that Zord beam! I just realized I don't have a ton of healing on my team at the moment. Oh boy. It's actually kind of just Yates right now. Ah. We have the points for reanimate, but there's no one to animate yet, so. Oh well. Man, Kyrie got destroyed in that round. She did kind of take the front. Yeah, I guess. 
see if I could have a gate sneak toward one of those uh, chests. Ouch. Oh my god. Okay, okay let's go for this coma inu. Here's the thing, like... Uh, this sneak attack, crazy damage, but... Again, the problem is that uh, this Pectite, as we've read, all attacks count as coming from, like, the side. Look at that, 96 damage! Boo! Where? Like this, maybe? Yeah, okay, good. Couldn't get Reiner. Oh my god! Nice! Stole some stuff. Now, what's my regular attack? Oh, my goodness. Kairi, by the way, hits insanely hard now, if you didn't realize. So let's take out this Koma Inu right now. This is a front attack, and it's doing 63 HP of damage. <sighs> now, I kind of would like to start putting some hurt, you know. Here's an enraged blow, which... Wow, wow, wow. That's one of those, it does, uh, like, one-fourth HP damage, but, like, you know... But it's crazy damage in exchange. Uh, yeah, I think the right thing to do, though, is... Yeah, we gotta put this on to protect Reiner. Two hit points, good lord. Maybe it was a mistake to bring these low-level guys in, but, uh... Then let's move Anadine over here to be like here, everybody. Let's, let's see what you got. Oh wow! Oh right, because fleet of foot. I was like, wow, Lily is booking it. Now can I? If I do holy chant, oh that'll hit Reiner, right? Man, it is. Oh, but hold on. If I stand here, I think now. Oh no! Holy chant! Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I thought it was all right, the amount of damage. And, of course... Remember, he's got that ability which makes him exclude allies. Although, which one? 113 or 123? I'm a little worried for... I'm a little worried for Reiner here, so... I think we'll focus on this thing first. Ow. Oh, God. Ah, oh, man, I kind of want to use this, but I got to get those heals off. I mean, 73 health is a big deal. Unfortunately, we ourselves are about to get crunked here, so... I guess into the bushes we go and hope we can tank an attack from that thing. Oh, yeah, this is a problem. I, I'm i a little spread out here. What? How did that heal? What the? Okay. And another sneak attack. I believe that's the first time I've ever done a hundred damage in a single attack. Here we go. Oh god. Can I tank it? Uh, no! You freaking girl! Uh! Huh, I was so worried about Reiner, I didn't even think about. Okay, fine. Now, hold on. Let's. But, but that thing's gonna move, actually. I was about to say I'm gonna try and do the forceful blow with um, in, a, in, a, in a few moments, or no, the vicious push in a few moments by Anadine, but this, this, this lizard's gonna move anyway, so let's just do forceful strike right now. Or can I actually bop it with my wrathful blow? Not quite. Let's do this to hurt the both of them. Yeah. 
Oh, I should have turned her back here, Anna D. Yeah, see, the thing moved. I knew it. Okay. But this should finish it off. Not quite, okay. Well, enraged blow. Yeah, it's more like it. Ooh, I'm playing a little risky here, but ooh, HP is going down. Okay, bye. Yeah, I couldn't do it. Sneaky git. Okay. Weak against lightning, this thing. Okay. So, actually, let's... I'm gonna do this now. I think this is the right play, even though Lily could put some work in, but, you know... Here's the, here's the real killer, is once we come in with Thunder 2... Too bad Thunder Locust isn't ready to go, but, uh, 89, yeah. Once again, I really like the monster design. I, I've been a little critical of the uh, human characters in this, like, you know, the models of our party members, eh. But I'm really into, like, these jellyfish monsters, these pectites. Once again, really cool. I, I appreciate it. All right, now, Reiner, you try and kill this guy, and... Yeah, but that's the problem, we can't, uh... Oh, wait a second, yeah! Yeah, yeah, yeah! Wizard Reiner putting in the wizard work! Only problem is I could have been standing already next to the box. I, I, I thought that... I didn't think that went through entirely. My apologies. Okay, what's my HP stats? 107. One fourth of my current HP if I do this. Oh, really? Only 26 damage. How tough is this thing? Only 16. What? How is this thing? Wow. How is it that? Okay, um. Maybe drain health? Oh, wow, that, that does really good work. That's... Oh! Could it be that these things have huge... Uh, huge uh, physical defense, but ma magical stuff works really well on them. Could it be? I don't know. But uh, anyway, this one's actually a really good move. Yeah, thank you. I can use that. Okay, now where is that... Box that's there's one over here. I guess. I guess one of the crew could head head there. If we lame this out for a couple of turns, we can at least get a couple of a couple of boxes uncovered. So let's see if I can do this. There's only two enemies left, right? Like I think I think we'll be okay. Oh, that's not frustrating. These enemies are pretty frustrating. We're, we're doing okay so far, but I was lucky in picking all these uh, elementalists. Let's put this work in. Hold on. Holy and Dark are completely irrelevant with these pectites. Only three, good good heavens. In that sense, I guess this is okay to use this uh, holy chant. 26. 28, ooh, that's kind of nice. Siphon! The, the fact that it does, that does uh, actual damage is really nice. Okay, here's where the big bomb has to come now. Uh, it was weak against fire, right? Oh, well, my MP isn't quite ready for fire too, but, you know, 57 damage? It's not feeling super hot. <laughs> okay, actually, that's a poor choice of words. It's... Eh, okay. 
And why don't we play it risky and see if we can get to the third chest with Virgil? You never know. We're doing okay HP-wise. Why don't we reanimate a creature? So this is how reanimate works. It, it doesn't bring the actual creature back as a creature creature. It brings them back as this generic cadaver. And they're not super great. They kind of waddle around slowly. But, you know, they do like a decent amount of damage if they can get into melee. Like, they're, they're not terrible, but they, they're very, very poor mobility. So they're more just to, like, add a few more bodies into the mix. A monk robe. Uh-huh. Okay. No bad. Ah, Kyrie, look out! Oh, okay. Now, can I make a super lame out here and get the third box as well? Because there's literally just the one Vangal here. I wonder. Another level, good lord, level 15. So strong. A sage hat. Okay. Some cool gear here. Oh boy. Could the zombie actually end up killing the enemies by because I because the zombies are AI controlled, so could the zombie actually end up killing one of my uh, mates? I don't know. Anyway, let's see if we can finish this thing off. Don't miss. Only five hit points. Truth be told, I almost forgot to kill this thing. <laughs> like, uh, I, I, I thought I had killed it already, but that wasn't entirely true. Now then, the lame out begins. I think Virgil can get there. Oh, wow, 50 damage. What a shot. Yeah, they were doing like 36 or something in the in the fight I did last time, so wow. Hey, let's try Lady Luck for Hexes. Put a wild card on this thing. So it's a random amount of debuffs. Mute, cripple, and sleep. Oh, that's perfect! Um, sleep is like exactly what we need right now. Hold on, what's the HP on? 60. Okay, so so this thing can tank one more attack from the zombie, which is good because... Uh... Oh, this is Kyrie. Okay. Um... Hold on, Kyrie can move nine, uh, four. Virgil can move four. Okay, so one, two, three... Four. Okay, yeah, Virgil can get to that box on his turn in just a few moments. So let's just let's just go believe this final Vangal. Hey, hey, we'll get every box. Wow, I'm really happy with that result. Oh, wait a second. We got Speedy Macanadian over here. Healbot 3000! Well, hey! That was really good that we got that. Alright, then put another protect here. Here we go. So, yeah, I overstretched a little and Yates got bopped, but we did okay. I think I might be a little over leveled with my top crew, so. But I'm just like, I'm just expecting that like really rough fight to come my way at some point, so... I, I shouldn't be like, oh, this is too easy. I'm sure the, the shoe will be on the other foot any second now uh, in one of these later fights, I'm sure. It's not like we've had an easy go on some of these levels we've been doing. Reiner was the MVP. Okay, well, well done, Reiner. Yeah. Yeah, it's just gonna have to sit this one out then. Hey, there's some vent over here. A quick look. Yeah, I'm gonna have to take care of that. And oh, Rurud is about to max out as a plague doctor. Congratulations, Rurud. I actually should probably do that right now, because this event could lead to another fight. So let's let's just make sure. So I will do leveling up and equipping, and then we'll do crafting on screen. I don't know why I keep doing that on screen, but might as well. So, um, catch you in a second, everyone!